Hello friends. Hi everybody. Welcome to our Tuesday lunch chat. I am Sarah Keller coming to you live from inside the store, not another hat, located in beautiful Hood River, Oregon. Thank you all for joining me today. Um, I have all sorts of summary things to talk about, including a new pattern release. Love new pattern release days. So hop on in, settle in, grab a drink, whatever. Um, I'm just going to give a few minutes for people to hop onto the video. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, it's going to get hot here this weekend. Finally going to hit actual, um, I mean, not even just summery, but even some spring. It's been cool. Uh, everything is behind. So it's a perfect time for me to be talking about summery yarns and summery fibers and summery projects uh, because it's going to finally be in like the 90s, which is crazy. So I guess we like it in extremes here. Yesterday morning when I woke up, it was 40 degrees. And then in a couple of days, it's going to be 93. So <laughs> hello, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, shall we talk about, what should we talk about first? How about I show you some new yarn first? We just received, it was like a week ago, but I didn't have a chance to tell you yet. The new Barocco Baby, I mean, Barocco Vintage Baby hand paints. So if you remember, Vintage Baby is um, a wool acrylic blend. It's in the vintage line and it's like a DK weight. It kind of actually knits anywhere from sport to DK. They've now released a um, small line of hand paints of this yarn and it is so pretty so pretty okay I grabbed some skeins here I think I might have missed a color oh it's so happy look at it if you were if you had the yarn tasting you you got some of this in the yarn tasting look at these colors and now um if you think your eyes are deceiving you or your memory is deceiving you you're correct that vintage baby itself comes in a little bullet ball a uh, little 50 gram ball uh, these are in Hanks. Not sure why the difference. I don't know, but it certainly looks cute in Hanks, I think. I'm not sure if it would look the same. You know, solids are fine for those little bullet balls, but the um, the multicolor, like you get to see the color a little better um, in the Hank. And of course, I don't have color names for any of these because they don't print them on the labels, but I'm just going to hold them up one by one. It's not this hat. This is so happy. There's lots of um, patterns in Marie's Knit a Little book that would work beautifully at, in this yarn. And it's basically at like five and a quarter to six stitches to the inch. So um, this is so cute. Blue and yellow, little bit of turquoise. This is kind of a little rainbowy. It's a little bit of everything. This is for when you're not sure. <laughs> uh, this one is gray and blue, really lovely. And a little more unicorn here, teal, purple, pink. I feel like I left one out, but maybe that was all of them. So check that out if you uh, need to knit for a little one in your life. It also actually would work great for the thing, what I'm gonna show you next, which is my new pattern. So introducing Dot, club members, you already got to see her. Dot is a lovely little crib or lap blanket. There's two sizes and it just has this really beautiful texture. It's not quite a bobble. I know a lot of you are probably screaming bobbles right now, but it actually is not a bobble. It's different. It's executed differently. It's a really cool little technique. Of course, the pattern has a technique video, so if you're not sure how to do it, I show you. Here she is. So I knit uh, Dot. Actually, Jill knit Dot for me. I designed Dot in two strands. Is it looking familiar like what's over my shoulder here? <laughs> of Barocco Pima Soft. So Pima Soft is a DK weight yarn, but if you hold two strands together, you get a bulky. So it's on a size 10, goes so fast. Um, it takes 11 or 17 balls. If this is the 11 ball size, this is what I call the crib blanket. It's about 34 by 34. And if you wanted a bigger lap blanket, it would be 17. That's double stranded. Um, you could also totally make it out of a single stranded bulky weight yarn if you'd rather do that. Uh, just remember if you're doing that, cut your yardage in half. The, the pattern does specify that. But as I was pulling these to show to you, these would also be so pretty doubled up. You would just get this whole like watercolor effect all over your blanket. <laughs> I saw that, Heidi. Heidi says she screamed bobble when she saw my pattern. They're not actually bobbles, folks. 
They're not actually baubles, but they do make a really lovely little texture. Just feels really, really good. Um, I don't think you need to make it for a baby. <laughs> I think it's absolutely acceptable to make it for yourself. I'm just like, I'm going to wrap up in it right now. Oh, look, it'd make a lovely shawl. Oh. <laughs> so at any rate, this is Pima Soft behind me that comes in beautiful color palette. There's, there's six new colors, I think, that are on their way. We don't even have them yet, but they are on our website. You can order them and we'll drop ship them to you if you want them right now. So go check it out. Pima Soft is a cotton that I really actually liked knitting with. Where's my swatch? Um, I don't know where the swatch is. It was such a pleasant surprise. Really, really enjoyable. It's just 100% Pima cotton, right? Yeah, 100% Pima cotton. It does not have that scratchy, um, inelastic feel that cotton can have sometimes. It just feels really lovely. And so, um, yeah, check out, check out Dot, check out Pima Soft. Let's see. Um, I have a special, a special coupon today. It's actually not a coupon, but a special discount to tell you about. But first, we're going to talk about something else first. <laughs> um, yes, Sarah, it is a beautiful day in the hood. You're absolutely right. Uh, so we just had a Good Vibes Yarn Tour just released the ebook of our latest tour. So this is the fall tour that happened this past fall. And this is my design from that tour. This is called It's the Ocean. And it's a beautiful crescent shaped shawl knit in the knitted wit non-superwash fingering. So this is, um, this is part of a great ebook that's got two other patterns. It's got my pattern here, It's the Ocean, which is a crescent shawl. It's got uh, Cadence's pattern, Soul Searching, which is a triangle shawl. And then it's got Janet's pattern, I Hope, which are fingerless mitts. Really, really cute. They're in sport weight, um, two-tone colors. It's really cool what she did. It's got like a fake extra cuff. It's really, you got to go check it out. So if you go to goodvibesyarntour.com, the whole ebook is only $14.99, which is already a great savings, right? Because these patterns would be $7 um, by themselves. And then you also get a technique video from each of us and an inspiration video from each of us where we talk about why we created these designs um, and how they came about. So if you want three really good, truly vetted by yarn shop owner patterns, <laughs> then this is the ebook for you. It's the fall 2022 greatest hits. All of our ebooks are on the Good Vibes Yarn Tour website. Um, and so you can go, this will be the newest one listed. And I thought I'd bring over a couple of pairings that you could use if you wanted to make my shawl, it's the ocean, um, for yourself. So we've got the Knitted Wit non superwash fingering here. Now these colors were exclusive to Good Vibes Yarn Tour. This is, that's part of the perks of being on the tour is you get exclusive colors. And these were inspired by a postcard that I sent to Laura Jean um, of Knitted Wit of the Yakina Head Lighthouse on the Oregon coast. So she made that, these beautiful colors, but there's lots of other beautiful colors that you could use. Um, like this combo right here, Sexy Love and Lies and Halflings. So this would be a really beautiful combo. And then if you're into fall colors, I know a lot of you are, this is uh, Flaming Locks and the Wind Cave National Park. These would be stunning together. And then last but not least, I brought over, this one's a mix of bases, but the colors look so good together. And you can completely mix bases in a project like a shawl. It doesn't matter at all. So this is non-superwash fingering and Oscar the Grouch, totally aptly named. And then this is a Her Story color that we actually just got in. It's called Very Fond of Walking. And it's this gorgeous white green to forest with a little bit of like sky blue. And these two would be really great together. So there are some options if you're feeling inspired by the great, um, the greatest hits ebook from Good Vibes Yarn Tour, and especially by my shawl, it's the ocean. Cadence's shawl, Soul Searching, it is a one skein fingering shawl. So they are, these are great one two skein projects. Um, and Janet's pattern for her mitts is uh, two colors, but it's 50 grams each of each, of each color would make the mitts. I'm pretty sure is how that broke down. So go check it out. Um, okay, next, this is the coupon slash discount that I was talking about. We are running a little special right now because summer's finally coming, <laughs> finally. Where is up? 
All right, y'all probably remember my coastal shawl, right? This was this came out last spring. Um, probably one of my favorite shawls I've ever designed. And this takes five skeins of coastal, which is a gorgeous summer weight blend of 50% Chanico wool, 25% mulberry silk, and 25% Belgian flax. And it takes three colors to make coastal. You have um, a light and a dark of a complementary, like a blue or something, and then a neutral. So I'm running a little special right now. It's an automatic special, so you don't have to remember a code. You can just put these items in your cart and it will automatically deduct the correct discount. So the special is buy four, get the fifth free because this shawl takes five skeins. It takes two skeins each of colors one and two and one skein of color three. So um, your two skeins each of one and two is gonna be one of your mains and then a neutral. So for example, here we've got plum, um, lilac, and natural. So you would need two each of these and one of this or vice versa, two each of this and one of this. Uh, but let's see, we've got lots of other combos here. I'll show you all the neutrals actually first. We have three different neutrals you could pair these with. We've got the natural, which is what I used. We have uh, cocoa bean, is that the right name? Sorry, sweet tea, which is kind of like a light taupey, silvery taupey color. And then sterling, which is a natural silver color. Like here's sterling and um, sweet tea together. You can see sweet tea is a browner tone and sterling is gray and natural. And then you could pair either of those with, any of those with all these different color combos. So here's the orange combo, which is tangerine and copper. And here's what I used, which is blueberry and bonnie blue. So you can see how one's darker than the other there. Another great one is crimson and deep pink. And chartreuse and cut grass, if you're into greens. Like, see, I love this one with the sweet tea. I think that look, works really well. And then of course the first one I showed you, which was lilac and plum. And this one also looks really good, like with the sterling. So does, um, so does my combo, the blues or the reds, the pinks. So make a combination, put five skeins in your cart. One of them's gonna be free. So I just thought that we would kickstart summer knitting <coughs> with a little special. That is gonna be good just for one week. So that will expire next Tuesday. So be sure to take advantage of that savings. That's $17 off. One whole free skein. Um, okay, one last thing I want to tell you, gosh, it's a short lunch chat today, um, is that we just were able to add, thank you to Ariana and Julie, um, uh, Julie, uh, <laughs> a whole bunch of new uh, shop samples for sale. So you probably remember last uh, Thanksgiving, we did our massive sample sale and that cleared us out of almost all of the samples that we had built up over the years. And we are ready to add some more right now. So um, I know they just keep happening. I just keep having more samples made and then inevitably the pattern or the yarn gets discontinued and we can no longer put it on display. And so we put them on sale because we know that sometimes a knitter just wants to buy a finished hat or a finished baby sweater and know that it was lovingly hand knit, but they didn't have to do it themselves. And you know what? We don't care if you say you did it yourself. We know you're capable of doing it yourself. So you can just go ahead and go buy that thing. There are several cute baby sweaters, lots of great hats, including some of those Bergen hats um, that we had from last fall. So like the self-patterning um, hats. So go check that out if you're in the market, need a quick gift. Uh, they're all listed on our website and you've probably seen a few of them popping up in Facebook um, as they've been added. So yes, lots of good things. There's lots of sweaters too. There are some summer sweaters, things from last season. Um, my, um, oh my gosh, it's that linen cotton blend. Oh, it was a Barocco yarn. I made it in yellow. <laughs> That's there. The, um, Julia's crocheted sample is there. Uh, really cute summer tees. Our um, sample from Barocco. <laughs> I've got zero names for anything. I'm not very helpful. But you'll see them. You'll find them. I know you can do it. <laughs> Ovaline. Thank you. That's right. It was like um, drink your Ovaltine. <laughs> Uh, all right. Thank you for tuning in, everybody. And I hope you have a lovely uh, week. 
This Saturday, don't forget, is our doodle workshop. So that's an in-store workshop that I'm that I'm putting on. There are still, I think, four spots left if you're going to be in the area and you want to sign up. So I will see you all next Tuesday. Same time, same place. Bye.